I'm Teak and in this video I'm going to be doing a review on our Newport Pet Stroller. There are so many cool features I cannot wait to show you. At Pet Teak, our mission is to develop non-toxic pet products for your dogs, your cats, and your small animals at the same time helping our planet become a cleaner place to live in for us and our future generations. I do have a special guest with me here. His name is Hershey. He is a nine-year-old Pomeranian, and he will be doing some guest appearances throughout this video. We are super excited to show you what this new pet stroller has to offer. Remember to subscribe and enjoy this video. During this review, I'm going to show you guys how to assemble and disassemble the new pet stroller. Did you know the material on the bassinet is completely removable for washing? Wait till you see how easy it is. As you see here, this is the entire Newport Pet Stroller that just came out of the box. It does come wrapped in a plastic baggie, but I took off the plastic baggie just so you can see how easily you could compact it and you could store it. It also comes with an instruction manual, but if you would also like to contact us, you can contact us at info at petteek.com. You can also find our Newport Pet Stroller at petteek.com, which you can find the link in the description. I did bring a pee pad with me, so keep watching to see why I have this pee pad. And no, it's not because Hershey is going to go during this video. <laughs> okay. So what you'll find in the box, these two wheels, they go on the left and right. These wheels are both the same, so it doesn't matter which one you put on the left or which one you put on the right. And we also have this wheel, this one goes in the front. This one is special because it has two wheels together. I'll show you more of that later. This here is the carrier that goes on top of the stroller. This one is super cool, like how much to show you all the features of this carrier. Okay, so before we get started, I will show you how to put the wheels on the frame first. And I'll put the carrier here aside. Save the best for last. <laughs> okay, so to start, you want to take two of these wheels and you want to put them on the back. So what I like to do first is put the frame on its side and insert the wheel here. As you can see here, there's a hole and you just insert there, as well as here. And you'll hear a clicking sound. So you can even try to pull the wheel out, it's not going to come out because it's locked in there. But if you do want to eventually take the wheel out, there is a button here that you press to take out. So you see that I put it in. It's locked, and then you press this button to take out. So that's what this button does. And then now, I'm going to put on the front wheel. So we'll lock that. To put on the front wheel, you'll see here there is a smooth side. So make sure this is on the top. This, where you could, there's a button you can press, this is on the bottom. And if you want to take out the front wheels, this is the button you press to remove the front wheel. Let me show you. You insert it here at the front, insert it here, until you hear it click. And to take it out, you would press this button to remove it. So again, I'll show you. Push in until you hear it click. Push down and pull out. But well, we're going to leave that in for now. There's a super cool function on this frame that I'm going to show you in a little bit. I want to first show you how to assemble the carrier and the cool features it has. The bassinet comes in folded. The coolest feature on this bassinet is this patented pee pad insert. So it's actually the mat at the bassinet, but we added a feature where you can insert a pee pad inside. Another cool thing about this mat is it has a cushion in it, so it's really soft, it's comfortable for your pets. Over here, this is how you want to assemble the bassinet and make it extremely durable and sturdy. So it does come with two leashes here, and 
Another cool thing about this bassinet is the fabric is all removable. And that I'll show you later as well. What I want to show you now is how to assemble the bassinet. So in here you see two metal rods, one is white and one is black. What you want to do first is take one of the rods, the one underneath, to push it in. Same with the other side, push it in. And there are two bolts on each side, two here and two on the other side. So when you push the metal rods in, it'll stop right where it should stop. Now your bassinet is extremely durable and sturdy. The next thing you want to do is you want to zip up the inner layer, but you want to make sure the leashes are on the top and not hiding on the bottom. So sometimes the leashes will be here on the bottom and what you want to do is you want to put them through a hole here that's specifically for the leashes and you pull the leash through. This bassinet has two leashes and they're both adjustable. So you can adjust them according to your pet size. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to zip up the inner leg, the inside, and voila! And then put them out on the inside. There is a special way to zip up the bassinet fully if you want to zip up the bassinet like this. You want to first insert one side and zip it partially. The reason why you zip it partially is if you if you don't zip it partially, let's say, and you zip it all the way, you wouldn't be able to zip up this side because it's on so securely and so tightly. So what you want to do is you want to zip it partially, like that, and then you want to take this side, insert it in, and then zip it all the way. And then you can take that zipper and zip it all the way. And now you have a very durable bassinet. And the cool thing is there's mesh windows on both sides and reflector strips so people can see when it's dark or when the light shines on it. You have the option of having this mesh window open. And it opens on both sides so your pets get the ultimate ventilation. Or you could even close it so your pets can have a nice nap. If they're anxious, they'll feel more safe. There are also two large pockets for you to put your snacks, your keys, your treats. <laughs> now that we have the bassinet ready to go, let me show you how to put this bassinet on the frame. Over here on the bottom of the bassinet, you see that there is a hook in the shape of an L and another one in the shape of a C. What you want to do is take the side with the L and put it here in the back. As you can see, here's the L. You hook it on here to the back and in the front here, you see the C here? You would just push it down until it snaps. And to take it off, you would pull up and then remove the bassinet like so. So one more time, put the L hook in and snap it on. Now that we have the bassinet in place, I want to show you one more feature that's super cool. So let's first take off this bassinet. To fold the stroller, there's a white button over here. You push it, you slide it, your thumb to the left. And then at the same time, you push this red button and fold it forward. And it stands up on its own. Now here is the cool part. A luggage feature! And now you could head on and then back. <laughs> and now that I've shown you all the cool features, I want to show you how to insert the keypad. What you want to do is you want to measure how big you need the keypad to be. You go ahead and put the keypad in. Isn't this 
such a cool feature to have. And now you can take your dogs, your cats, and even your bunny rabbits out for a stroll. Now that I've shown you all the features, I want to show you how to easily remove this fabric so you can wash it. The way you wash it, you can hand wash it, you could put it in a washing bag. I highly recommend you put the fabric in a washing bag so it doesn't get damaged because it does have zippers. Also, when you dry it, air dry it, do not put it in the dryer because the mesh will get overheated. So what you want to do is unzip the interior lining. And you'll have leashes here, so I'll just take that out. Put this aside. And then the next thing you want to do is you would take out the canopy. So there's a button here you would push down to take out. Same with the other side. Push down to remove. And then this exterior fabric has Velcros on it. So you just remove the Velcro. You just attach it, not remove the velcro. Attach the velcro, undo the rods in here so you can easily take this out. And this would be the frame of the carrier. And you could just leave this aside for later. And now you have the PP board that you would just take out. is what I wanted to show you earlier. It's really light, it's durable and sturdy, and you can easily clean it. It's really smooth. And there you go. You just toss these in the washing bag. Now, to avoid any confusion, I'm going to show you guys how to put the skeletons back into the body. So this goes on the bottom. As you see, you have the legs the L-shaped tube and the C-shaped tube. So as you see, there is less space between the C-shaped tube and the sides. And over here, there's a wider space from the L-shaped tube to the outside. And over here, you see that on the bottom, you see there's a shorter side and a wider side. So what you want to do is match it up so since the wider side is here, the L-shaped tube goes on that side. And you would just match them in the holes. In the hole. There you go. And now the other side. And in you go. Make sure your leashes, make sure your leashes are out of the way and not stuck on the bottom, otherwise you would have to redo the whole thing. Which is fine if you don't mind. <laughs> okay, now the next thing you want to do is take this part of the skeleton, the one with the rods, and put it inside. So now that the skeleton with the rods are in, I like to put the white rod under the black rod because it's more, it flattens more. I like to un unvelcro this first. Now the next thing I would do is move the white rod closer to the bolts so I'm able to start velcroing. Now that I velcro one side, I would just push these to the side, make sure my base is still intact. And then velcro the rest of it. Oh, and make sure the leashes are out of the tube because when you put the middle skeleton with the rods on, the leashes could get in the way. So make sure that you take the leashes 
out of the rods. And there you go, you just go throw it back together. The next thing I would do is take the liner, match it with where the zipper is, take the leash, put it through the hole, take the other leash and put it through this hole, and then zip it up. And there you have it. The next thing you do is you take the canopy and you just simply push it down until it snaps. And now your carrier is good as new. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video and found it helpful, remember to hit the subscribe button and like this video. Also, if there are other future videos you would like to see, definitely comment down below. You can get the new Newport Pet Stroller at PetTeak.com. Remember to like, subscribe, and follow us for more possum videos. <laughs>